America's Most Wanted. Have you seen this man? Him and our rude boys, I has got enough heavy TV ideas, which is why I has come here to Los Angeles to see if I can make it in the world of telly. Bo! What is this project about? It's loosely based on like James Bond but it's for like TV. Well, I've seen that over and over and over and over again, TV. There's nothing new there. Well, I've done like an eight minutes thing. Let me, let me see this, let me see this here. I'll watch a little bit of it. Okay, I got, I got the idea. All right, um, this is not in a genre that I'm interested in. But you ain't even giving it a chance. I give it a chance. I'm not interested in it. But people will switch on I, even when they see the I'm title not, James Bond. I'm not interested in it. Thank you very much. I'm not interested in it. I can make it any more what, clear. I'm not if, interested. I'm not interested in it. I'm as clear as I could possibly. I am not interested in it. I want you to just level with me and don't, you know, if you like it, say you like it. If you don't, say it. I try to say it to you. There's uh, another idea no, that has gone. I, I have time for one it's pitch. It's like a version of who wants to be a millionaire, but with uh, more cash. I, I really have to, I have to have, I have another appointment coming. Thank you for your time. It's and who nothing. wants to be a billionaire. There's also one massive selling factor here, the cast. We knows this girl who also lives in Staines called Melanie Gibson. Eyes open to get her involved, and then we can put on the posters starring Mel Gibson. Okay, but in this country, actors, if they have a name that's already taken, do you know they can't even use their legal name? She's known by a lot of her mates as Mel. And that's. that's like, Mel, yo, can you go. Like, officially, if she's like applying for a job, Melanie. Right. But once she is in there, yo, Mel, Mel, as you got, what, what is you up to tonight, Mel? She might have a little problem clearing the name with the Screen Actors Guild if you do it here in the States. Me would raise like loads of cash by threatening to cuss companies if they didn't hand over cash. So let's say we ask McDonald's, you know, do you want to help fund the program? If them say no, then we say, all right, we're going to have someone eating a Big Mac and then dying of cancer. Well, that's almost tantamount to blackmail. But let's say I rang up McDonald's, spoke to the main man, and say, yo, Ronald, give me the cash. What I think is that you have to be positive in your approach. So maybe we'll show you the tape. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's a lady. Thanks for saving my life. What is it? I was in the middle of having sex. It better be important. Wow, that is fucking important. What, there's a bomb? All right, I've just got to finish myself off. Thanks. Before you leave me, I didn't catch your name. My name is James Bond. James Bond. Do you want to produce it? No. No, it's not my kind of show. My other idea is this. A police dog has died. 
and its spirit has gone into the chief of police and it's called Hot Dog Cop. Does this police chief know what's going on? Does he understand it? That's the best thing about it. He ain't got no idea. What happens when it takes over? Him can speak to the dogs. Him can run like a dog, well fast. But also, he does the dirty stuff that dogs do as well. Like, he'll do a... Suddenly, he can't control himself. He'll do one. I think it would take a very... Um, ingenious script to make it work. You would need a dog to help write some of it. And by that, what do you mean? The dog bits. Chenkui, I come here to learn etiquette in Deep South with Helen, who professor of etiquette. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Should you be polite to all? Yes. Uh, should you be polite to prostitute? Well, yes, because, you know, that's what they do. Yes. How much is polite to tip them? To tip? Yes. Um, usually um, it's 10%. In, yes. In some places, in for some places it's 20%. For, it varies. For with the yes, regime. Yes, um, but it is always proper to tip. Will you teach me, please, how to be a menace? Yes, sir, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. You say how to talk to people with different personality. Right. We also have a doll person. Like my wife. Well, what you need to do is think She's of things... She's boring. But what you need to do is think about things to help her not be boring. It is Maybe. like doing it with my sister. Well, I'm not, I mean, we're not talking about that. We're talking about, is she born just sitting and having dinner with? Yes. Well, then you need to think of things that you can talk about. Maybe she's born because you haven't done enough with her. I do bring... everything. I try uh, in the kitchen. I do it every way. We try, we look at the uh, DVD. We try to uh, make it ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, watch over This is Elsa McDowell, this is Borat. Hello. And this is Sims. How do you do? Sims McDowell, play. Cinque. Hello, I'm George Thurman. Hello, Borat said this. Can I talk about what I did last night? Well, it depends on what you did last night. Is it something personal that maybe makes someone feel embarrassed or uncomfortable? No. Last night, uh, I had a sex. I beg your pardon? Mistake. I had um, with a woman from uh, Gambia. I do a... Oh. In America, we don't discuss that. But she was a nice high five. <laughs> <laughs> she was You're a... in trouble, George. <laughs> Can I talk about my hobbies? Sure. It's a wonderful thing to talk about. Again, that's getting to know a person. Do you like a porno? No. <laughs> this is such an interesting conversation. But why? <laughs> in Kazakhstan now, after communism, we have a lot of porno. I like it. I like it. I like a shame pussy. <laughs> Should I talk about my family? 
Sure. Uh, I would share good things about your family. <coughs> My sister, she is a, a prostitute. That's sad. What? Why is she a prostitute? She likes to make money. High five. <laughs> Hmm. She likes to come to uh, U.S. and A. She can stay with you. We'd have to see. <laughs> she is good. I know. I, I know. know the answer to that. What if I make a smell? Should I say it's me? No, you don't make it obvious. But if um, you feel like that, maybe people looking at you like you, you just say, "Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry." There is a smell. Like I, it's, it smells like a shit. Yes, <laughs> it does. It will say a pat. Uh, when you do a pat, when you squeeze yeah. a bad, a bad uh, smell from the hole, hole, uh, yeah. you do a pat. <laughs> That's right. There are also wonderful flowers that. I can do a big pat. Mm -hmm. You want to try? I've done it. They have great. You want to try to do a pat? No, no. no. I can do. I can do no. that. Who can not? You want that? Might do? be that no. no can, I you, can you make yourself do it? I have one. Mm -mm. I have one. You no, want? No, no. Barack, don't do it. It is coming. Um, we're waiting. No, we're not. If you want? No. You want? I can do. No. Put your hand close. No. No. Chenkui. Chenkui. Okay. You are a fat. You are a fat. <laughs> He is a fat. I am fat. Big fat. That's why I said. You are tiny. <laughs> you just squash you when you do the same. <laughs>you will all heard the words, probably enough of you out there is done it. So, what is pornography? I think pornography sends a very dangerous message to society. I think it lies about sex. What does you think? Uh, well, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy watching it myself. I no mean, doubt. of course, you know, a lot, I feel, is the parents... Uh, because of course you have to be 18 before you enter these sites. That's you know, right. there's a written. Oh, no. Yeah, she's right. There's there. a written <laughs> statement there saying yes, I'm 18. I mean, no, I see these young girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let her finish. Okay. I'm sorry. No, um, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm seeing like sorry. young girls, 12, 13, and I'm thinking they're 18. You know. For the men in this business, how important is it? The size of the warrior. It's not really the size. You know, I've worked with uh, quite large men, and I've uh, worked with with smaller men. Because I've got a massive one. You know, but what does you say to people out there with small ones? Not me. No, it's or, just, you opposite. know, of course the saying is not how large, it's how yeah. you use it. Why does you think it is that you ain't had sex with someone yet? Do you think it is because you was too shy or because you was aiming for honeys out of your league? No. Do you think it's because of the confidence? No, no, You don't no. have the chance no. to go up to ladies no. and say, let's do it? No, I do not believe that sex with multiple partners should be the normal standard in our society. So what you were saying is you actually is trying not to have sex. Basically what I'm attempting to do is not allow sex to come to the forefront of my life. Does you think the age at which you can have sex is at the right level? For most states in this country, um, the age of uh, consensual sex is uh, usually around 16 or 18. All right. Virgin, does you think that it's at the right age? <laughs> well, I think, the dif I think the difficulty is the issue that, you know, we're wired to have sex pretty young. How old can I come in? I was 18 uh, when you I lost 18? my virginity. How old oh. was you? Obviously, I ain't not. Oh, new because you was a you know, virgin, right? I was, like, I think about 10 or something. <laughs> With this model from Italy, it was 28. It is illegal for people to have sex below the age of 16. Should it be illegal to have sex above the age of something like 50? No, I wouldn't want it to be illegal to have sex above the age of 50. 
for personal reasons. But like a couple of years ago, me had a really bad experience. Me walked in on me nana. Mm -hmm. She was actually doing it like 69 mm -hmm. with Uncle Derek, her mm -hmm. boyfriend, Uncle Derek. Mm -hmm. It ain't me real uncle. And it was like, I felt <laughs> sick. It was like... Sure. But the way Walnuts to, and a sock. But it has, How can that be right? It, no. You learn to knock before you go into Nana's bedroom. No, but then it happened, they did it in the living room as well. Well, mm. that's irresponsible if, you know, for parents to do that when there are their children around or anyone else. So let's just have one word to sum up your position. Let's say commitment. Virgin? Nobility. Jesus. <laughs> Safety. Your mind is peace. So let's try and do that into something. Uh, peace. Your nobility. Yeah. Check it. Because Jesus. In it. Is. Commitment. Commitment. Peace. Mm. Just thought it out, just like that, because I didn't know right. what your words was going to be beforehand. I just that just was That's at the good. top of my head. Entschuldigung, bitte. I'm here in the coolest city in the world. That's right, LA, Los Angeles. It makes Vienna look like a Scheißendumpfuhrer. Also, let's go and find out what makes it so out there. Whenever. Wir gehen zurück. Would you like prefer to be born without a sense of fashion or with just like one of those hands that has like really small fingers, you know, tiny fingers, like half a hand thing? Uh, yes, I would rather be born with that, with a sense of fashion, definitely. And with one of those? Exactly. Things. Of yeah. course, because yeah. you can like design a, exactly. something that can cover them, some special yeah. gloves or something. Yeah, maybe you could add some steel fingers or silver fingers or, you know, things like that to make it look like exercise. What was it like when Madonna came in through the front door, well, did didn't. her Vogue and just said, Hi, I'm a virgin? Uh, well, she didn't, come, so I, I don't want to say she didn't come to the store here. She hasn't been in the she store. She hasn't been? No, not when I was here, so. Warum sind sie here? Du hast gesagt, Madonna. They're crazy okay. about Madonna. Okay, so I just like yeah. pretend. Okay, just yeah. Okay, so what was it like when Madonna just came through the door here and just said, okay, I want to buy these clothes. These are the greatest clothes I've ever seen and just, like, did the Vogue. Yeah, it was amazing. It was unbelievable. How many things did she buy here? Uh, 12 to 14 pieces. Oh, my God. And did she come back here many, many, many times? Yes, she did. Is this her favorite shop? Yes. What's the cool way to walk? All right, this is the coolest way to walk. <laughs> Okay, great. <laughs> What's like the innest religion now? Buddhism. And what was the in religion like, you know, last fall? Maybe Catholic. So we've got a charity with the show. It's to do with like deaf or dead children, I don't uh -huh. know. Uh, I just wonder if you can like do something for them in the camera, take it away from the god of fashion. Okay.
That's it? Great. All right. That was cool. That will make a difference. What do you think about Hitler? You know, he was from Austria. I mean, do you think he had good style? Everybody's uniform looked exactly perfect. There was he never a, out of style. I mean, he had style and he had a message, a bit like Christina Aguilera. Uh, yeah, I guess he did have a message. So, if Jesus were alive today, where would he shop? Uh, Jesus would probably shop on Melrose, actually. We've got a lot of shops that actually have long, cool get-up, yet still have that back-to-earth kind of feeling. Sure. And what about Gandhi? Where would he shop? Gandhi was a minimalist. I'd say probably he would shop downtown. He actually, downtown is just a lot of fabric stores, and I think he would just go into his shop and buy a piece of fabric, tie it with a rope, and he'd be fine. What is Jonathan Anton? What is Jonathan Anton? Fuck, man. I'm just a... I'm a troubled, crazy... Sean. Fucking maniac that that has a lot of feelings and a lot of emotion and a lot of craziness. Look at the evil people in the world. Saddam Hussein, Hitler, Hitler. Stalin. What do they all have in common? Mustaches. There's quite a few Middle Easterners that look like him with that kind of mustache that are not totally crazy. Yeah, there are a few people a few. with mustaches who aren't totally crazy. Absolutely. But, but most of them, they're a little fucking in my nuts. experience, are they're a fucking, little weird. Is it a coincidence that all the good people have a long hair, like Jesus and like hippies and, you know, Rod Stewart, whatever? Sure, sure. I've done Rod Stewart's hair for a long time. I'll be really honest with you. Sure. I'm very impressed that you've brought these issues up because I've thought of them a couple of times in right, my career, too. but I've never heard anyone else ever address them except for you. Thanks. Never. That means a lot. That's, Thank you. I got to tell you, man, that's like, did you write all this shit? Did you yeah, I've just been thinking of this shit. Dude, my... that's so heavy because I've always wondered why. Yeah, because it's crazy. Why all the... Yeah, good Jesus people. and Moses. And, yeah. You know, when they show pictures of God. Yeah, they long all hair. Have long hair. You know, they didn't care so much about their look. They wore wraps. They grew their hair long. Just say something controversial into the camera. You motherfuckers in the Middle East, God help you if I ever come over there, because I'll take all you cocksuckers out. <laughs> We say in Kazakhstan, a man who never kill a man is like a man without any... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh, it's a strange, it's a strange feeling. You have a big, uh, you have a big uh, hrum? Uh, b b fairly, uh, yes. Uh, yes. You know, so, not pretty good, pretty good. I can touch. In America, you don't, uh, it's not... Uh, that's it's not one of our customs, you know what you do? Yes. I can touch? Uh, well, sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Yes, it's okay with sure, you? Sure, sure. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's uh, good, but I have uh, oh, seen bigger. <laughs>